Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to show you a test that is going to be a corrosion resistance test. And I want to preface what I'm about to show you in video by saying the following. We will be using hydrochloric acid to accelerate the corrosion of the items that we're going to be testing. Yes, I realize you're not going to trip and fall in a vat of hydrochloric acid. At least I hope you don't. So I know there's going to be trolling comments down below like, oh, real awesome. I'll be sure I don't store my gun in a vat of hydrochloric acid. That means you totally missed the point of this video. The point of the video is to show you the resistance qualities of a new Cerakote finish and just how resistant it is to corrosive materials like hydrochloric acid. So with that out of the way and trying to head off as much trolling as I possibly can, let's check out this demonstration of how durable this new Cerakote finish is. In my hands, I have a Glock Generation 5 handgun. This handgun Glock touts as having its most durable finish ever. It's called the NDLC finish. And I was talking to a Glock rep at a recent meet and greet, and they were taking great pride in the finish of the gun and scratching it with keys and things like that, showing how hard the surface treatment was. They can't use tenifer here in the United States because it's banned. The chemical processes that are used to apply it uh, are highly toxic, so they had to find another finish they could apply here in the States, and they've been tinkering with their finishes. This is the latest evolution of those finishes, and again, it's called the NDLC finish. Now I'm gonna set this pistol behind me, and here in this little glass thing, I have a Glock Gen 5 slide. If you come in over here, you can see it's a 17. If you look next to my index finger, you can see it's a Gen 17 or a Model 17 Gen 5. Okay, this again has the NDLC finish on it. And then next to it, we have another Glock slide that we've bead blasted and applied the Cerakote Elite finish to. Now, the Elite finish is a new product, it can be applied much more thinly than previous products and it's extremely durable, and that's what we're gonna show you guys right now. Now this is a, uh, does it say what clock generation it is on here? They didn't mark this one with the generation, but it's a 17 slide anyway. It's a, th a third generation slide. All right, so this one we've ap applied the Elite Cerakote finish to. Now this is where we get to have fun. Guys, don't do this at home. What I'm about to do is extremely dangerous because what we're going to do is demonstrate just how durable the Cerakote finish is as compared to the NDLC finish. And to do that, to accelerate the corrosion process, we're gonna use hydrochloric acid. That's why I'm dressed like this. All right, so take a look at my watch. It's currently 9.47 in the morning. It's Wednesday, the 24th. It is October, so Halloween's just around the corner. All right, so we're gonna let this sit overnight. And then we're gonna come back and see what happened to the Elite finish as compared to the NDLC finish. All right. If you ever wanna get rid of a body, this is a good way to do it, I hear, based on Breaking Bad. Let's go ahead and pour the acid into the glass. So we have them both completely covered. All right. Now we wait until tomorrow and see what the hydrochloric acid does to the two different finishes. I'm really looking forward to the outcome of this little test. All right, guys, it is now 9.30, well, 9.40 in the morning of Thursday the 25th. And we will now be removing the two slides from the acid bath. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Keep in mind, we have the Glock NDLC finished slide here. Here we have the Cerakote slide. I'm going to go ahead and take the top off. I'm wearing a respirator, guys, because this stuff is highly toxic. Even the fumes are toxic. So I apologize for the audio. I'm going to take out... The Cerakote, first I want to make sure I don't drop this. Okay, so there's our Cerakoted slide. I'm going to dip it in water and rinse it off here really quick to deactivate the acid so it's safe to handle. I 
Okay. We'll take a closer look here in a minute, guys. I just want to get them out of the acid. But as you can see, that thing looks just like it did when it went into the acid. All right, we'll set that aside. Now we're going to grab the Glock slide. And I can already tell, guys, this thing's a hot mess. This is the new, brand new finish that Glock is really, really proud of. And it's kind of hard to see. I see some surface wear there. Let's go ahead and dip it in the water. And then I'm going to cover up that acid. All right. We'll dry these off and get a closer look here in a minute. But uh, yeah, the finish is clearly coming off the Glock slide. There they are side by side. They're smoking, which I don't know if that's a bad sign for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down. We're going to clean them up and make sure we got that acid completely deactivated. And then we'll take a closer look. That's pretty darn interesting already. <laughs> Can't say I've ever done this before. <laughs> okay, so we've deactivated the hydrochloric acid. Over here, we have the Glock Gen 5 slide, and we'll show you these slides in more detail. This is with the NDLC finish, and this is the Glock Gen 3 slide that's been refinished here at Copper Custom using the Elite Cerakote finish. Okay, so we basically put these two slides in hydrochloric acid, as we showed you earlier in the video, and that was to simulate a corrosion test. The military does corrosion tests. Other departments and agencies do corrosion tests as well. Typically, they'll put things like that into a salt spray and let it run for days on end. And what we did was pretty much the same thing. So salt is highly corrosive. Hydrochloric acid, obviously, is an acid as well, but it's even more corrosive than salt, so we can accelerate the time. Instead of putting this into salt water and coming back a week later saying, okay, look at the differences, by putting it in hydrochloric acid, we can get the same results in the matter of 24 to 48 hours, in this case, 24 hours. So taking a look at this, this is the NDLC finish. You can see that it's coming off. Now you're down to bare metal and this will very quickly oxidize. You can see it's coming off in spots all around here and through the serrations, it's coming out. You won't be able to see this, but down inside of the striker channel, it's pretty much just bare metal at this point from what I can see. So we have really heavy corrosion happening to the Glock right here on the, the front, I would say is probably the most pronounced right there. So that's pretty, pretty bad. Now let's take a look at the Cerakoted slide that we took out and we rinsed these off with water to make them safe to handle and wipe them off. Now take a look at that. There is no signs of wear or corrosion that I can see whatsoever. Taking a look inside the dovetail, the finish is still there. It still has that Elite Series slickness to it. Uh, again, it's much like Teflon. If you want to know what this feels like, go grab a Teflon frying pan if you have one in your house and run your finger across it. That's what's going to feel like here. So it's, it's self-lubricating, so it still has that lubricity to it. And there's no signs of it coming off anywhere on the slide. Striker channel still has the finish in it. It looks like right after copper sprayed it. <laughs> it's hard to believe. I mean, hydrochloric acid is some nasty stuff, guys. If this thing will go through hydrochloric acid, I can't think of anything else that's more corrosive. Uh, you know, when you carry a gun, why is this important? When you carry a gun up against your skin, like I do appendix, if I don't have an undergarment on, my firearm comes into contact with my body. My body produces sweat. In that sweat, there is salt. Salt is corrosive. So once again, if, if you were to, if you're looking for the most durable finish from what we've been able to tell, there's nothing more durable than the Cerakote, especially the Elite. And then keep in mind, guys, this is the thinnest product that they produce. The, the finish on here is, is just micro thin, but yet it's that durable. And that's why copper uses it. I'm not saying that this finish will never come off. All right, if we let it sit in there for a month, 
very well it could be that the hydrochloric acid would start to eat away at the Cerakote as well. I mean, it's, it's only going to be able to protect this slide for so long. But obviously, it's doing a much better job than the NDLC finish is doing. As a matter of fact, uh, from what I, I've been told, the um, Elite Series paint will actually go through something like 4,000 hours of salt spray and, um, and look like that still. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration of just how corrosion resistant the new Cerakote finish is. Now, as I said, when we open the video, I realize you're not going to trip and fall into a vat of hydrochloric acid. At least I hope you don't. But what we attempted to do in this video was to accelerate the corrosion process to something similar to, say, exposing a firearm to a salt bath for several weeks, which is something the military would do. Salt and water are highly corrosive and can damage firearms. I think most of you watching this video know that. So what we did was use the hydrochloric acid to kind of accelerate the corrosion. And it's an extremely uncommon corrosive uh, solution, but I think it demonstrates quite effectively just how durable this new Cerakote finish is, which is pretty cool in its own right. Now, this is not a ding on the Glock finish. So you guys out there, they're saying that, oh, I'm just out there bashing Glock. I don't bash Glock. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you're going to love this one. <laughs> I'm actually carrying a Glock today, so don't accuse me of being a, a Glock basher. Now, I may actually paint my G43X with Cerakote because I am that impressed with the material, and hopefully you guys are as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask those questions down below. If you feel like trolling, try to resist it, but go ahead and troll down below. Who knows, you may get banned or you may get pinned, depending on just how good or bad your trolling is. Guys, if you'd like to support us here directly, uh, you can do that by following the link down below to our Patreon page. We are 100% viewer supported. Cerakote didn't pay us to make this video, although we do apply Cerakote at Copper Custom. We believe in the product and we don't take industry money from anybody else. We are 100% viewer supported. So if you'd like to support us, link is down below. Another great way to support us is to pick up one of our cool t-shirts from our Forge from Freedom store. And there is a link down below to that as well. Also, don't forget to swing by and check out Copper Custom if you have something you would like Cerakoted. Copper Custom can do that. And I would love to tell you there's a link down below, but YouTube doesn't like you exercising your Second Amendment rights. So we can't link the things that they don't want you to have even though the Constitution says you can have them. Guys, we're also Twitch gamers. If you'd like to watch us play Battlefield 5, Battlefield 4, we actually have our own Battlefield server right now, um, World of Tanks, other fun things, check out Twitch, link down below. Just go to Twitch and look for Military Arms. Guys, thanks for 11 years of support, and we will talk to you guys soon.